furniture comes in all sizes, all shapes, and serves all purposes. It can be wood or steel, wicker or woven, tacked, screwed, nailed, or glued. You're probably thinking there must be a hundred things that go wrong with furniture. And you're right. Historic furniture, no matter how sturdy it may appear, can be fragile. After careful inspection of this 150-year-old bookcase at Longfellow House, it was determined that any attempt to move it would cause it to fall apart. The first rule about furniture is to move it as little as possible. When pieces cannot be moved, it becomes particularly important to check them for insect damage and the effects of heat and humidity. Before doing any cleaning, check the integrity of the finish. Check for flaking, loose veneer, and unstable joints. Dust flat surfaces with a clean, lint-free rag or electrostatic wipe, gently wiping in the direction of the grain. You can remove dust from stable carvings or metal mounts with a soft brush. Be especially sure that gilt carvings are stable before attempting any cleaning. Collect the dust with a vacuum cleaner. When opening a drawer for cleaning, never use force. If the drawer has metal handles, you should wear gloves and use the handles only to start opening the drawer. Open the drawer gently, being careful not to drag the drawer bottom. Open it further by pulling the body of the drawer. Vacuum insides of drawers and case pieces once or twice a year to remove dirt and check for mold and insects. Never use any water-based solutions or commercial cleaners on historic furniture. Leather is inherently unstable and will degrade over time. You can dust it gently if it is in good condition, but if it seems unstable, contact a conservator. There's no doubt that waxing, correctly done, can make furniture look great and add protection to the surface. And there's also no doubt that waxing unstable finishes can cause damage. You have a loose veneer Before here. you do any waxing, you yeah, should get hands-on training from an experienced person. Learn how to tell if the finish is There's stable some, uh, and can benefit from waxing. Use odorless mineral spirits to remove wax buildup. Start with a small area to test the surface. If the surface is particularly dirty, it should first be washed with a cloth barely dampened with a mild detergent solution. If there is any discoloration or other problem, stop and consult a conservator. Lightly apply paste wax. Butcher's wax is available at hardware stores. Waxing looks so good, there's a temptation to do it more often than you need to. Remember that any kind of cleaning or polishing poses a risk to historic furnishings and wax only when necessary. Buff with a clean, dry, lint-free cotton cloth. Key points about caring for furniture. Move furniture as little as possible. Even the largest pieces of historic furniture can be fragile. Check the integrity of the structure and the finish before cleaning. Never use water-based solvents or commercial cleansers on historic furniture. Apply wax in this sequence. Wash, rinse, clean with mineral spirits, then wax. Wax only when waxing is necessary. 